two tallest leaders of the BJP, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee and Mr. L.K. Advani, have now been conferred the Bharat Ratna by the Narendra Modi government. Both have been awarded the Bharat Ratna in their lifetime. Mr. Vajpayee was awarded Bharat Ratna in 2015, before he passed away in 2018. And now Mr. Advani has been given the Bharat Ratna when he's 96 years of age. Well, this silences those critics who had accused Mr. Narendra Modi of sidelining the senior most BJP leaders like Mr. L.K. Advani. Mr. L.K. Advani, in fact, was also awarded the Padma Vibhushan by the Modi government in 2015, soon after it had come to power. Now, at the age of 96, Mr. Advani has been awarded the Bharat Ratna in a major move that will prove to be one of the political legacies of Mr. Modi. It also cements the Modi government's claim that it has acknowledged the political contributions of stalwarts from both sides of the political spectrum, which the Congress ignored. For example, the likes of senior Congress leaders like Pranam Mukherjee and Madan Mohan Malviya were also awarded the Bharat Ratna by the Modi government, along with socialist icon Karpuri Thakur, who was awarded the Bharat Ratna just a few days back. Modi, in his message on Saturday, has said that he has learnt a lot from Advani, who has been the architect of the BJP. Advani, in fact, has been among the party's tallest leaders, who rose to the limelight by making BJP the political face of the Ram Janam Bhumi movement in 1990. He co-founded the party in 1980 and was the party president three times. He also served as the deputy prime minister and the union home minister, was the leader of opposition in both the houses of parliament, and became the party's prime ministerial face in the 2009 elections. In 2014, Mr. Advani became a part of the Mark Darshak Mandal of the party along with Mr. Murli Manohar Joshi. Advani's political rise came from his Ram Rath Yatra in 1990 from Somnath in Gujarat to Ayodhya to press for the construction of a Ram temple in Ayodhya at the site of the Babri Masjid. He was stopped in Bihar by then State Chief Minister Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav on the orders of then PM Mr. V.P. Singh. In 1992, when the mosque was demolished by car sevaks on December 6th, Mr. Advani was accused of delivering provocative speeches near the site. The CBI charged him and other BJP leaders with criminal conspiracy in bringing down the Babri Masjid. 28 years later, in 2020, a court acquitted Mr. Advani in the case, citing lack of evidence and said the demolition of the mosque was a spontaneous act and not pre-planned. In 2022, the High Court has upheld the same. Despite being the face of the party and nurturing many BJP stalwarts like Sushma Suraj, Pramod Mahajan, Arun Jaitley, Mr. Vankaya and I do, Mr. Advani could never realize his dream of becoming the Prime Minister. The rise of Modi in 2013 and 14 made Mr. Advani withdraw to the sidelines. But Mr. Modi kept his unwavering respect for Advani, including making it a point to visit him on his birthday every year. A Padma Vibhushan in 2015 and now a Bharat Ratna underlines Mr. Modi's respect for Advani and silences those who had even questioned Mr. Advani's absence at the Pran Pratishtha event in Ayodhya on January the 22nd. Mr. Advani had cited harsh weather conditions to skip that event. In the words of Mr. Modi in his tweet on posted on social platform X, Advani ji's decades-long service in public life has been marked by an unwavering commitment to transparency and integrity, setting an exemplary stand in political ethics. Mr. Modi also wrote that Mr. Advani made unparalleled efforts towards furthering national unity and cultural resurgence. He said the conferring of Bharat Ratri on Mr. Advani was a very emotional moment for him. Mr. Modi also said that it was his privilege that he has had countless opportunities to interact and learn from Mr. Advani.